Good morning. I am in traffic in sunny California. My name is Erica Sacedo. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. I just had a friend ask me about eyelid twitching and she was concerned because her eyelid kept twitching. That is called myokymia when the eyelid contracts, excuse me, when the muscle contracts. Uh, and so we have the obicularis muscle um, oculi, which is around the eye. And if it is contracting, obviously that'll cause that twitching. Why does it happen? We believe that it is related to stress. So for example, if a um, person is not sleeping enough, if they're drinking too much caffeine, if they're under any kind of emotional stress. So there's a book called The Body Keeps the Score with the, talking about this principle, which is if we don't feel or release what we're going through, it will come out in our body, right? So things um, like autoimmune diseases and such are thought that this can be related right and so same principle remember the cartoon when we were kids or maybe not um, but if you're old enough the cartoons when the guy would get so angry um, his eye would start twitching because he was like oh I'm just so upset really that's the same principle is like you're getting there's some emotion in you and stress that is not being released and so the body will release it and one way is the eyelid twitching and so I tell my patients listen to your body um, there's something going on so maybe taking care of yourself right so um, for some people that may be meditation others that may be uh, working out, some other people sleep, not so much caffeine, just kind of being aware of what's going on uh, because basically your body is trying to talk to you and so it is always best to listen to your body. And this goes to you know how important our um, mental and emotional health is as well. So make sure you take care of yourself. And as far as treatments, typically that is what we recommend, just trying to figure out what the source cause is. But if you're really bothered, um, for example, I was telling my, my friend that sometimes we do a little Botox um, and that'll obviously release the muscle, but that's not treating really the cause, that's just treating the symptom. So again, I'd strongly recommend listening to that little girl or boy inside of you that is uh, needing you. Okay, much love, light, and abundance to you all.